don't adjust your sets. I think the picture tube needs little dusting. What is your wish, O oh Master? Who are you? I am Alfred, the genie of the lamp. Why, well, my name's Alfred, too. Why is it, Master, that when you can have any wish you desire, you prefer small talk? Any wish I desire? If you want me, rub the lamp. How long have you been in that tube? Master, you have a mania for the unimportant. I have been there for years. No one ever does. And whoever heard of a genie conjured up by a vacuum cleaner? And now master the wish. And remember the words of Allah. Think big. But what I want is priceless. Nothing is too great. Diamonds, rubies. This would be too much to ask. Master, us. the wish, the wish. Give me a commercial. Give me a commercial. Welcome to the Alfred Hitchcock Pale Hour. The next time I buy a ship model kit, I intend to read the directions more closely. I have one consolation to being unceremoniously bottled like this. That is, wine connoisseurs will say this will be considered a good year. However, I feel I have aged enough. I only hope I am let out while I still have some fizz. During my absence, you will be entertained by the jar, a story about some people who found a very strange source of fascination. Mr. Knowles' work might best be described as an anesthetizing tour of the dark corners of the junkyard of bourgeois civilization.
five years ago, Mr. Knoll received one good notice from this critic. Unfortunately, he seems to have taken it to heart. He continues to flog the same dreary cliches while the rest of the art world has moved on. No. What can I say? Your wife has done a splendid job with the catering. You know, you could be using this space for an artist to really make you some money. Oh, I didn't go into this business for money. You can exhibit here any time you want. I don't care what you serve. Here comes Erica. I think I'll go check my messages. I brought something for a little celebration. Just call me the eternal optimist. How you doing? Boy, that critic from the Times did everything but lynch me. Oh. Well, I don't understand. I mean, he gave my last show raves. I'm not sure I can go through another one of these disasters. And then I say that after every opening, don't I? <laughs> you know, I give half my talent to have a woman like that behind me. And one of these days, I'm going to steal her away from you. <laughs> uh, don't we? Yeah, we've got to get going. The reservations are for 10. Right? Mm, right. Listen, uh, why don't you guys go on without me? Oh, please, don't brood. I'm not going to brood. I'm going over to Happy Coffins. Oh, you don't have to do any more of this kind of stuff, you darling. Of course he is, Erica. This is a very courageous man. <laughs> I've got to go. So meet us for dessert. <laughs> this morning. And this beauty was right in the middle of it. When I heard it was a 38 Mercedes, I was on the scene before they got the body out of it. How much? Uh, 100. You can have anything you can take out of here. And ten for the rental on the torch. Duchess! Duchess, come here! Come here, girl. Probably thrown yourself up a bridge or something. I'd forgotten you were waiting. You forgot about your wife and your best friend? Well, he probably needed to be alone. No, I was working. Working on what? Oh, my God, you've done it again. What the hell is this thing supposed to be? Not supposed to be anything. I'm going to rearrange my entire exhibit around it. Boss, when you talk to him, this is going to make me give the whole thing up.
I've already spoken to Periwinkle. This goes into the exhibit no, tomorrow. No, we're going to talk this thing out. No, we're not. $12,000 is $960. It's the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. She'd never had an exhibit where every single piece sold. Except for that one. That's not for sale. Oh, really? What are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it home. It's very special to me. Special? It's like something you picked up in Tijuana. It's like a lump of clay with a fright wig on it. I saw it move. Erica. It's not alive. It's just a lump of clay. A fright wig on it. Excuse me. become so adept at dealing with failure after failure, it's almost a shame he has to now learn how to deal with success. <laughs> well, this is much better. And you must be overcome with happiness, Erica. Oh, absolutely. We have a basement full of his previous disasters. Maybe we can get rid of a few of those. I can sell anything of Noel's that I put in the gallery. I must say, Noel, 
You've managed to turn your whole career around with just this one exhibition. No, with this one piece. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, I really don't deserve all the credit. I'll say. A lot of the credit should go to my wife, who stood by me all these years. And while she never understood my vision, she certainly understood me. Well, let's not forget Happy Kaufman. Happy Kaufman? Yes, he's the real inspiration for that monstrosity in there. Happy Kaufman is the man who sold Noel the jar in the first place. You mean to say the jar is not your own work? Well... Oh, no, he did build the stand. <laughs> what difference does it make where it came from or where he got it or what it is? It was Noel that recognized its power and it was Noel who showed it to the rest of us. And it was Noel in that jar that changed our lives. That's what a real artist is. You just don't like the idea that he doesn't need you anymore. I wish I could create something with its power. change, yet it's constantly changing. God, you're all staring at this thing like you expect it to talk to you or something. did a pretty good job of that herself. What'd you do it? We get rid of it. What do you mean? Now look at it. It's just a nasty, disgusting thing in a glass jar. I think we'd be doing the world a favor if we got rid of it, destroyed it. Well, no, no, this is masterpiece. It's a joke. It's nothing. He found the thing. He bought it. And since when have you been so interested in no? If you were, you wouldn't have been sleeping with me for the last eight months. That's a good point. Well, I guess this is it. Eric. You know what you are? You're just a pathetic little opportunist. You don't give a damn about Noll and his masterpiece. You just think he could do more for you now than I can.
done. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but Erica left me. She hounded this poor man through 12 years of failure, but she couldn't put up with your success, could she? <laughs> hey, I heard she's helping Christo gift wrap Mount Shasta. <laughs> <laughs> well, wherever she is, I'm sure she'll find her niche in the art world. Oh, you're much kinder than I could be, dear boy. But I must say, your homage to her is inspired. There's no other word. Yes, I'm proud of it myself. And as you say, I was inspired. Any resemblance between the jar and any other type of home entertainment is purely coincidental. There is just no comparison. However, we are working every day to lift the level of television. Someday, who knows? Getting out of the bottle proved to be easier than I imagined. However, I had the help of an angry genie who claimed I had invaded his home. That is all I have to offer this evening. Until next week, then, good night.